consider a solid whose base is bounded by the unit circle x squared plus y squared equals 1 and whose cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis are equilateral triangles. We want to find the volume of this solid. So first recall that when we have an equilateral triangle of side length s, its area in terms of s is equal to square root of 3 over 4 times s squared. We're going to need this fact shortly. And now let's find the volume of the solid by using four fairly simple steps. So step one, we want to sketch the base. So sketching the base is easy because it's a just a unit circle and so the base is on the circle and inside the circle. This is what the base looks like and this is minus one minus one and this is one and this is one. Now what we can do we take the unit circle x squared plus y squared equals one and solve for y. y squared equals one minus x squared so y is equal to plus or minus the square root 1 minus x squared. The upper semicircle has the equation y equals positive square root of 1 minus x squared and then the lower semicircle, we know we don't actually don't need that, is equal to y equals minus the square root of 1 minus x squared. So that's step number one. Let's look at step two. Step two, we have to, when we read the instructions in the problem or description of the problem, it specifies that we, we have to look for cross sections perpendicular to the x-axis. So here's the x-axis. Select any x between minus 1 and 1. So here's a typical x. And we want to sketch a line segment perpendicular to the x-axis and that is inside the base. So pick any x and then sketch a line segment whose endpoints are on the base and is perpendicular to the x-axis. So here is such a line segment. This is one side of the equilateral triangle that represents a cross section of the solid. So now sketch the other two sides of the triangle. So something like this and we want to find the area of this equilateral triangle and express it as a function of x and we are going to call that area a of x. So that's step number two is to sketch that line segment and the rest of the triangle. Step three is to express a of x, the area of a triangle, as a function of x. So each side of the triangle, say, has length s. And we want to find what s is in terms of x, where we are on the base. Well, as we look at half of s from the line segment that is on the base, you can see that that happens to be the y-coordinate of the point on the circle corresponding to a given value of x. And the y-coordinate is square root of 1 minus x squared. That's half of s. And let's write that down. We have 1 half s equals to square root of 1 minus x squared. So then, of course, s is equal to uh, 2 times square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, the area of an equilateral triangle a of x is equal to square root of 3 over 4 s squared. But now we know what s is in terms of x. So this is square root of 3 over 4 times 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared squared. So a of x is equal to 
square root of 3 over 4 times 4 times 1 minus x squared. And the 4s cancel. And this is equal to square root of 3 times 1 minus x squared. Now we go to step 4. Step 4 is the volume. The volume of this solid is equal to the integral from minus 1 to 1 of a of x dx because a of x is the area of a triangle dx gives that a little bit of thickness so we have an approximation of the volume at that point and integral gives us the total vo volume once we evaluate it so this is equal to the integral from minus 1 to 1 of square root of 3 times 1 minus x squared now we can evaluate this integral or just by looking at the picture we see that this is symmetric and we can write this as 2 times the integral from 0 to 1 of square root of 3 times 1 minus x squared and this is equal to 2 times the square root of 3 times x minus 1 over 3 x cubed evaluated from 0 to 1 and we can easily evaluate that that's equal to 2 times the square root of 3 times 1 minus 1 third which is 2 times the square root of 3 times 2 over 3 so the final answer is 4 square root of 3 divided by 3 units cubed is the 